with many coastal communities around Sri Lanka still working hard to recover from what they lost to the tsunami, there are some stories of recovery that truly inspire others in a similar situation to not give up. Our first story on coastal rising today is one such from the Hambantara district, where an organization run by the community itself is playing a key role in coordinating and supporting recovery initiatives. When the tsunami destroyed their livelihoods in 2004, thousands of women like Maduravati from the Hambantura district turned to the organization that they were members of and they knew would help them during those desperate times. I used to work as the chairperson of the village committee. I also worked as the leader of another village committee. I retired after that and that's when the tsunami struck. Thereafter, the Jana Shakti Bank and the Women's Federation helped to improve my situation. The Jana Shakti Banking Society of the Women's Development Federation of Hambantota was established in 1989 when a group of women from all communities came together to form a microcredit union. At first they helped each other with small loans and soon progressed to support thousands of expanding small enterprises that members were engaging in. At the time the tsunami struck, the Janashakti Banking Society had given out over 7 million rupees in loans to members and reclaiming the loans proved to be a problem. So the Federation approached NGOs and others who came forward to assist with the tsunami recovery. We are happy to say that Plan International gave us 5 million rupees and a project called Revive gave us 2.5 million rupees to compensate the loans. With the help of these organizations, we were able to overcome our greatest challenge. Our biggest problems were reclaiming our loans and encouraging them to restart income-generating activities. With their debts cleared and the resources available to give out new loans, the members of the Women's Development Federation once again turned to the Jana Shakti Banking Society. Many women were able to restart small enterprises through such support. Zahia Bibi of Wilmot Street, Hambantota, for instance, was able to use her loan to rebuild a poultry farm which now produces over a hundred eggs a day. They cancelled my debt after the tsunami and helped me begin a new project. It is with their assistance that I am able to continue with this project. Kusumavati of Kalyapura, who lost all her machinery and equipment, use the loan that she took to revive her pottery business. I told them that I would be able to recover my livelihood if they give me a machine. It's with the help of the machine they gave me thereafter that I managed to rebuild my life. Those who survived the tsunami have had to work even harder to make up for the years of effort and toil that was lost within moments. But the Jana Shakti experience has demonstrated how collective effort and collaborative partnerships have been able to use minimum resources for maximum effect. We believe that the involvement and commitment of many people and organizations and the efforts of our staff, intelligence unit, and the executive committee helped us overcome the challenges posed by the tsunami.